Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is set to end the Skywalker saga and the sequel trilogy itself by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about this movie that a lot of people are really confused about is, of course, Emperor Palpatine and exactly why we hear his laughter in the background at the very end of the footage of this movie. Now, we do know that J.J. Abrams has a lot of tricks up his sleeve in order to end the Skywalker saga in a very unexpected way for fans around the world that are really hoping this to be the best movie in the sequel trilogy. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, this is where things begin to get very exciting and intriguing, involving the characters of, of course, Kylo Ren, Rey, and even Emperor Palpatine. Specifically, a description of both Rey and Kylo Ren, where it's said that they appear to be walking in a dark environment with no light around them. It's said that both Kylo and Rey are holding hands and walking on a metallic catwalk, where it's described that they begin to hear the voice of Palpatine in the distance. The next goes over a rear shot of both Rey and Kylo witnessing the figure of Emperor Palpatine, where it's said that he wears and appears to look different where he wears the original iconic black cloak however he in in this particular sequence he is not sporting the iconic hood over his head like from the original trilogy it's said to be a mix between the palpatine from episode 3 and episode 6 it's implied that both kylo and rey are in the beyond or travel to the beyond by use of the force it's unclear if palpatine is alive or in the form of a vision or spirit so I want to go over a couple of parts about this, obviously, because a lot of people are trying to really understand exactly what's going on with Palpatine. Is he alive? Is he coming back to life? Did he ever even die at the very end of, of course, episode six? So in this scenario, I will admit that I really feel like this is JJ's take on the worlds between worlds. You guys may be very unfamiliar with this. If you guys have not seen Star Wars Rebels season four, go ahead and check it out. One of the episodes called Worlds Between Worlds, iconic episode where you do get to see Ezra Bridger walking through basically space and time and witnessing events of the past and maybe even of the future. And in that scenario, in that episode, you do have a sequence in which Ezra is able to save Ahsoka Tano from a moment in the past where she is fighting Darth Vader. You can only imagine what J.J. Abrams is trying to do with this movie and how he had a lot of discussions with Dave Filoni. By the way, Dave Filoni is the showrunner of Star Wars Rebels and he is the one who decided to really bring in the element of time travel into Star Wars. So in this particular sequence, how it's described to be a dark environment with no light around Rey and Kylo Ren, where they are walking on top of a metallic catwalk, coming closer to a figure of Emperor Palpatine and hearing his voice in the background and in the distance. And it's said to be a mixture between the Palpatine from episode three and episode six, where in this scenario, he has no hood over his head. So we do know that Ian McDermott is back as Palpatine in episode nine. He himself even said when he talked to George, when he talked to J.J. Abrams, that he didn't want anybody else to portray the character. And that's exactly why he's back in this movie, which is great. And Kathleen Kennedy even confirmed not too long ago that Palpatine was in the works or in the cards, I should say, ever since The Force Awakens. So we do know, and this was actually confirmed not too long ago, just a couple of days ago, that Palpatine is going to be quite significant in this story. So what's the deal? What's really going on in this particular scenario? I have a feeling that this is Palpatine in, of course, a vision or in the form of a spirit. We're not quite sure if he's alive in this moment. And heck, we're still not quite sure what in the world the beyond really is. I'm starting to believe that the beyond is J.J. Abrams version of the worlds between worlds or maybe even just a little different name for it that's going to be used in the movie. So Palpatine being used in this movie is going to be done in order to evolve the characters of Kylo Ren and Rey as well as you know uh, as a plot device in the movie that's going to move the characters forward. So one thing that I do love about this movie so far is how the title really does mystify me, especially the laughter at the very end with Emperor Palpatine. It leaves a lot of people wondering, what's going on? Is he back to life? I still am doubting that he's back to life. I don't know why, but these past six months, give or take, all the leaks that we have been going over suggest that he is not coming back to life, that he's coming back in the form of either a vision or a dream sequence or maybe even a Sith spirit. Uh, you guys may recall that there was an original idea for The Last Jedi, where Luke Skywalker was inside of his hut, and behind him you see a Sith ghost hovering over Luke's back. 
That was an original idea for episode 8 that never made it to the final cut of the movie. So you can really see where J.J. Abrams may take a lot of ideas from past films and implement those ideas into episode 9. So like I say guys, you know, we do know that, you know, both Kylo Ren and Rey are holding hands in this sequence. It tells us that it has something to do with the beyond. Absolutely. We do know that the beyond is going to be a major piece in this plot and it's really going to be used as a backdrop and it will have a huge connection to the evolving plot device in this movie. Anyways guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.